So what's up everybody today we're gonna be doing the vault so get your popcorn get your snacks get everything you need because we about to be in here for a minute sunny daniel enterprises <laughs> hey i think this might be the move y'all this is looking real nice i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you that's looking pretty pretty good we got a little bedroom action Every, you, you can have two people fit comfortably easily in these bedrooms i'm talking did I not make this one? I thought this was the one I did. All right, like comfortably, very easily fit two people in these bedrooms, easily. No questions asked. So what I'm thinking is, since we'll take the bathrooms, I need to put some lights in here. The only problem with lights is that I, I really wanted to do something different with the lights and make them a little bit better but right now I just need to be able to see <laughs> you know what I'm saying sometimes just being able to see is important uh, I do want to change the colors of them now back over to that crisp white I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking what I want to do is just put the shower they don't need to be like a decontamination type shower though like that's maybe put that upstairs you know what I'm saying? That's kind of that's kind of utilitary like part of it. You know, with the talking toilets and the all of that. I mean, the talking toilets are cool, but I don't know if I want to make that the same way cuz down here you want it to feel like a little home. You feel we want it to feel homey down here. I'm getting rid of all these pictures cuz they're getting on my nerves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're taking up space that I like need to be working with right now. Um, all right, so we need a door, we need a little door for each one of these bed, bed, bed bathrooms, whatever. I'm thinking I'm liking the, the door facing down. So whoever gets that bed is going to be the one that's got to deal with the bed. I mean, with the door facing down. I think that looks about right. Having two full beds. See, I really like the fact you could fit two full beds in there with nightstands. I mean, because nightstands are extremely important. I'm not going with all those beds either. Those are just placeholder uh, beds. Just like these are about to be placeholder nightstands as soon as I find some. Yeah. Those are just placeholders. Just giving me an idea how the room is going to look fully... Everybody's gonna have a different style, you know? Everybody's not gonna have the same bed. Cause I mean, we're living underground together, you know what I mean? We gotta be able to make everything our own. Yeah. Okay, and then I'd like to make a little, cause see, you go in, you got everybody got a bed. It'd be nice if both people could have a TV of some sort. I just don't know how you would do that because you'd have well you could actually I really didn't want to put both doors on this side though because it's like both doors you're sitting in bed and you got two doors on each side of you I don't know if I like that but the reason why I did that is because Technically, this person could watch TV this way. Let's just give a, give them something. Somebody could watch TV this way, and then somebody could watch TV this way. You see what I'm saying? So it kind of works out in the sense, you know, you got a pair of headphones. You got the TV. You looking at. You sitting in bed. You chilling back. You watching that. And if you over here, you sitting back chilling watching that. You could even glance over at the other TV, you know. I kind of like that setup, though. Because people love TV, man. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, people going to want to watch some TV in their own room. Which is the key. I'm just making them all the same right now. I'm just trying to see what that would look like. Because, see, if you got two families in a room, most likely they're going to be the same family, though. 
But then again, I don't know. I'm still working out the, the kinks, man. You know what I mean? I'm still working out the kinks. Like, say, mom and dad want to watch... Uh, say, mom and dad want to watch Family Guy. And the little kids want to watch... Uh, SpongeBob. You see what I'm saying? Or, say, the, the, the parents want to watch QVC. And the little kids want to watch SpongeBob. So the little kids over here watching SpongeBob while the parents over here watching QVC. So I mean it kind of works in a sense. I'm not sure if I love the way it works, but it might just work out pretty good. This is all still to be determined, but we're just trying to figure it out. You know what though? Let me take one bedroom. Let me just take one bedroom real quick. And let me just see what it would look like with like carpet, the full shebang. She bang, she bang. Y'all remember that dude? Probably not. He was a uh, viral before viral became a thing. I don't like that carpet. Let's see. You know I gotta have carpet in my vault. Because, I mean, carpet is the best solution. That's looking pretty good. I don't know if I did an intro. So, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be doing the vault. So, get your popcorn, get your snacks, get everything you need. Because we about to be in here for a minute. Let's get into it. Uh, I don't know if I did an intro for this video or not. But, you know what? That was the intro. Because, ain't nobody got time to go back. I was going to do it. Man, I noticed. I mean, some simmers don't even have a face cam, bro. Like, how you... 2018 don't even have a face cam but I mean I just feel obligated to have one now but I guess I'm not I just feel like it's like why don't you have a face cam but I guess if I do some videos with it I don't have to do them all with it but I don't know what about the people that's got a crush on me man post in the comments if you got a crush on me man <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What about the girls that's got crushes on me? They want to see my face. They don't want to see... They don't want to just look at the sins. They want to see me. That's kind of a cocky thing to say, Sonny. Hey, man. You got a crush on me, it's all right. Just let me know. I might have a crush on you. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never know, man. You never know unless you, you pursue... All right, so I don't think I'm going to like that room at all. Like I said, you're going to hear that clink every time the door opens and closes. So I don't think I would make that my room personally. But, uh, you know, maybe one of these other rooms I would mess with. I'm trying to think mentally, do I want to keep this, the double doors and all of that, and the security door, which I think I do just because I like to keep things secure. I think security is number one in a vault because <laughs> if your vault ain't secure, I mean, you know. Your people are going to get killed. And you don't want that to happen. At least I don't think you do. So, I mean, I'm thinking maybe something like this. And then we put like a trash can there or something. Because you need plenty of storage for food and stuff down here. I mean, the storage facility is upstairs. Oh, maybe that's what I'll make this little room. A storage facility. Because it needs to be protected too. It's not that big for a storage facility, but we're going to pretend that the storage is kind of out here, too. I mean, you got to have a little imagination. I don't want to just have dead space, like a whole room full of storage. That's kind of wasted area. Even though you could maybe do some wicked woo-hoo in that joint, that would be a good storyline. But, you know, we ain't going to trip on that too much because of the situation. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get the layout together. So down here, I pretty much got everything how I think I'm going to have it. We're going to have little rooms like that. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five bedrooms with the capability of having up to 16, 20 people in them, depending on how many beds. So this is plenty of room for this many people. Now, this little cat house here is something I put in that, uh, you know, personally, I don't know why. It just looked really cool to me. But... I don't know. I don't want to leave it out there because we're not going to have pets. I don't think possibly maybe we'll have a pet, a dog, though, probably 
But see, how would you have a dog in a vault? Well, you'd have to take it out somewhere to do do, right? Well, technically, I mean, you could use it as fertilizer, which is kind of weird. You take your dog to the store and let him, I don't know. That's strange and thinking about it. I don't know how you'd want to do that, but you'd want to use it. I mean, why not use it? It's fertilizer, so, which is kind of weird, but it's circle of life, bruh. Boo-boo is fertilizer. It's good plant food because it's like nutrient, I guess, but it's growth, but it's nutrient for plants. Uh, I'm just spinning this around right now. I need to figure out how I want to do this whole situation. And right now, mentally, I'm not focusing. I think maybe some of that problem is because these floors are like concrete. And it's, it's hard for me to concentrate with a concrete floor. See, I mean, look at that. That looks a million times better now. Now, I kind of do, I'm not going to lie, I kind of do like the brick wall exposed. I kind of like that. I usually wouldn't like something like that. They actually know the corners of the wall? I didn't know that. Look at that. I always thought you had to do this manually, like put that there and then get some other stuff. But they actually know the corners of the wall. I ain't going to lie, bro. That's kind of That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I've never seen that before. But no, as far as the exposed brick wall, I don't know. Maybe go with this gray. I don't know. It's something about it that I do like. Because it does give it like a... It gives it a feel. It definitely gives it a feel. But I just don't know if I want that feel. Because I feel like this being so white not saying that I'm even going to go with white because I told you I want to make this more homey than I do anything else. I want it to feel like a nice basement down here. And you can't make it real like feel like a nice basement when it's like brick everywhere. So I mean you can, but my point is not you're not trying to do it like that. So you got to go ahead and do that. You feel what I'm saying? Something like that. I'm doing it manually because I don't know if I want to take it all the way to the kitchen yet. I'm not quite sure. So then when you coming down here, see, it's already starting to get that basement vibe. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm putting back here, but it's already starting to get that basement vibe. Now, I probably should go with black furniture um, just for the simple fact that all these butts are going to be sitting on it. And it's not a modern house. It's a vault. So black couches probably would be better. They probably would look better for a longer amount of time. But I can't seem to find the color black for some reason. All right, black is actually gray. Good to know. I think white was gray too though. It's all right. I don't hold them again. I don't hold that against them. Because when making when you're making custom content, that kind of stuff is the least thing you worry about. Alright. Uh okay, okay, okay. Do you want to change the color of these to black too? Uh I mean black does give it a more warmer vibe. Like I said, I want this downstairs part to feel like a basement. I don't want it to feel like yeah, this is making it look a lot nicer down here. I don't want it to feel like a spaceship, even though I love this desk. This desk, this desk is, is something special, so I want to keep that. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I definitely want to keep that. See, right now it's got a special vibe. Do I still have move objects on? Yeah, because I couldn't put this here yesterday. For some reason, I don't know why I couldn't, but I really like these lights dividing the TV up. I don't know if I want one in the middle, though. I don't know. I just... I don't really think I want one in the middle. I don't know. I just really like them. You know? 
Sometimes you just like stuff. Maybe I could do something like that too. Bring them TVs a little bit closer together. See, because the only reason... Did I just get a text message? Because my phone is all the way over there. This Apple Watch Series 1, bruh. Never buy a first generation of an Apple product. I've learned this lesson twice. The iPhone, the first iPhone wasn't bad. But I bought the first iPad. It was sucky. They made a greater one the second year. And then I bought this first generation Apple Watch, which is really, like, slow. All right, so... Yeah, man, so this is what we got so far. I kind of want to pull this back a little bit. Do you think pulling it back would look better or I don't know if it's going to look better. I just feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger. Like we talking about a full entertainment situation down here where you get down here, you get cozy. You see what I'm saying? You get cozy, you get your popcorn, you get your boo, you know what I'm saying? And you just sit down here and you just eat. I mean, watch TV, <laughs> eat. you don't eat, you watch TV. Uh, do we want to do all of this black though? I don't know. I kind of like the white fish tanks, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up keeping them there. Also, don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping that brick there. Man, that joint all the way across the room. I don't know. I ain't about to get it. I don't feel like getting it. Sorry if you just texted me and I didn't text back. But this is the process. This is also America. So I don't know if you want to do that or not with that. I definitely want to, looks like I have yellow carpet. I definitely want to put a nice large coffee table. That's actually a fireplace. A fireplace in a vault is probably not a good idea. I'm not gonna lie. But would it be a nice looking situation? Yeah, it would. It would probably be better. I wish it was like this big, but like flat. Of course, I can't have nothing like that. <laughs> nothing like that in the living room. But I just I wish that was like the size of it, but not that tall. Of course. Um, I don't know. I just want to get a vibe down here. Right now, I'm thinking movie time. You know, popcorn, pizza. You know what I'm saying? You texting your boo, or you got your boo with you, and you know it's nothing better than movie popcorn and bay. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'm just trying to feel which coffee table will fit that vibe the best and still look decent. Because you want the coffee table semi close to the couch. Like, you don't want it really far away. But see, this only comes in white, and that white's not going to really match. I don't know, man. Like that's the this is the problem I'm having right now. Like I really don't know. Cuz as much as I like that, I almost feel like this is too long. And it should be more like that. But see, I feel like that's killing the the coziness of it. I think maybe take one out. Take one out. Yeah. I think I extended it too far. Cuz that's enough for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 people comfortably. On both sides, which would be 16. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of, it's not that many people. 16 people watching a movie together is not that many people. Mostly in a vault that I'm hoping I can get 20, 30 people in if I find a mod. I mean, I understand why the Sims don't do it. Because it would really mess up people's computers probably. Because they would push it to the limit. But... I feel like they got to give you the option, bro. Like, my computer could probably handle 20, 30 Sims. So, I need the option, bro. You got to give me the option, right? But EA said, dang, I ain't got to give you nothing. That's what EA said. I said, well, I mean, you do got a point. You don't have to give me anything. I definitely like that Martin poster, though. I'm liking that Martin poster a lot, but we don't want two. I want like another movie. That was this game? No, that was Sims 3 that I had those other movie posters. 
I mean, I like Kim, but it don't go. I like Kim and Kanye, though, but I also like that one in the middle. I don't know. This one don't seem to have a lot of stuff with it, either. I'm I'm torn with that, though. I'm torn with that, because I kind of like the Kim and Kanye one, but then I kind of like the one I had in the middle there. Nah, I think the one I had in the middle is the one I need to keep there. Just off the simple fact that that one is colorful and the other one is not. I don't remember which custom content is which. I got three different black frame custom contents here. What's on this one? I think this is mostly girls, to be honest with you. These are like Instagram models and stuff like that. Surreal kind of is cool, though. There's a picture of me. Yeah, it, this is mostly like Instagram models. I like Surreal, though. And then this one, I think this is my first one. Okay, this one might have something in it. I like that Rugrats, but see, that's got the white frame. Chanel, no, that ain't fitting the vibe down here. You need that bait. Oh, Kenan and Kale does. Kenan and Kale might be the move, y'all. Yep, it is on this one. Or, and you got this one over here, which is the one I just went through. So we could go with Surreal. You know what? I like Surreal. I'm going to put Surreal over here, though. I think Surreal could be over there or something. And then over here, we're going to have a Kenan and Kale. Because it's like a movie type situation. Even though that one in the middle doesn't fit a movie type situation whatsoever. Like movie TV show type thing. It just doesn't fit it. Um, and I don't think I have another one that will fit it. Because I didn't really make a bunch of them, which... I need to make some more custom content before I forget how to do it. Because <laughs> you know I will. You know, I like this picture. It reminds me of a movie. A movie place, like a basement anyway. <laughs> so I kind of like that one. We're going to keep them low, I think, though. That's not too low. I mean, it's low enough. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Maybe we could add a little lighting to it. This is a possibility. I mean, I don't know for sure. But maybe we could add like a little light there, a little light there, and a little light there. I mean, I don't know. What y'all think about that? I think you could find a better little light. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, those were okay, but... Hey, I kind of like these sconces. I kind of like those. Instead of putting it above, maybe I'll put some sconces in. I need something that look very movie-like, though. I can't be dealing with no... I like that floodlight. I need to put that on the outside of the house. I don't know. These kind of look very, very basement-y like. I want something that looks like a basement kind of sconce. Without looking too... I like that. But I just, it's not enough room for it. I mean, you could just go with these, to be honest with you. Continue the theme. Yeah, but these stick out a little too far. Yeah, that's true. They kind of do. Let's go with these, man. Let's go with these. Those don't really stick out that far. And to be completely honest with you, we could keep the theme going. And, like, add these all the way down this wall. But we, we probably should add... You know, that would be a good look to have like a bunch of little movie posters. It would give it a vibe like a basement entertainment kind of movie night type situation. 
but I don't know if that's what I want to do yet. I'm just saying that might would work. Just like having these two TVs. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm going to delete both these TVs and get a big ass, uh, big custom content TV or something. More like a, a projector type situation. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But, I mean, it would be cool to, like, have a movie. Oh, whoops. Have a movie on, right? Or, like, pretend it's coming from the ceiling. You could definitely pretend it's coming from the ceiling. And then you got the whole big movie joint on. And you could play whatever you want to. You could play that Rugrats. You could, I mean, that uh, Space Jam. You could play that Hodge Twins. You could play that Martin. You could play that that uh, Direct TV Guide. You know what I'm saying? Like you could do anything you want to down here. It's definitely got a good vibe though. I like it, but I might like the two TVs better. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. Right now we're just gonna leave it on there, just to get a full effect of how we gonna do things. Shout out to all the people that's watching this video right now, though, man. Make sure y'all post in the comments. Comment on Instagram. Comment on Instagram the little movie click thing. Comment on Instagram the movie click thing. So I know you from, from YouTube. I'm going to be following people back on Instagram. But you got to have a fly page, man. All right. So do I want to go? Do I want to end the kitchen early? Like that. See, I kind of feel like that does look better when I end it early. The problem with ending it early, though, is like, then what do you put there? I mean, you could bring the wall out, though. That's the kitchen. And that just is what it is. You know what I mean? You could easily do that. Don't know if that's what I want to do. I wonder what that would look like if I did something like that and then put this here. I mean, it looks kind of dumb. But I don't know if I like it exposed, either. But it doesn't matter. Those are little details you can do. Another time. This was kind of cool. I downloaded it. was uh, Egyptian themed. I was going to do this in the crib. But I, I just like the simple neutrals. You already know. The warmer colors just make me feel more cozy. I really want to do this. Because I feel like that's VIP seating right there. Wait a minute. This might work better. Hold up. I'm just thinking of something real quick. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird because it's on each edge. And the edges wouldn't have... Yeah, but you could always do this. I guess I could always do that and in the the row I don't know this is an option this is a option I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this option but this is definitely an option the synop synopolis whatever that word is synopsis Synoption, synopsis. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's an option. I don't know if I love that option, but it's an option. It, eh. It's not bad because the coffee tables kind of make it not bad. But at the same time, it is kind of bad. We just hypothetical with that situation I just did there. That's completely hypothetical. Which means don't judge me on it no matter how stupid it was. I like it, but I mean, again, we're not going to spend all day there because we'll spend all day there and then we won't be able to do anything else with our life. So let's move on. <laughs> let's move down the road here. I want to make these little things go down the hallway. I think that would be a cool look. I didn't mean to put that one there. I think that would be a cool look, though, to have these go down the hallway and kind of represent, like, movies and stuff. Um, 
there is one problem. I only have a couple movies to represent. So we're left with a couple options. One being drop that idea. One also being I don't know. But we ain't gonna trip. We ain't gonna trip. We're gonna move on to another section. We're gonna move on to another section. Let's get this kitchen fixed up a little bit because this kitchen is gonna be you know what? I shouldn't even been down here. I should go upstairs. Upstairs has more work to do. Let's go upstairs, man. Cause upstairs is pretty much like this was just an idea I had and I just ran with it, but I didn't actually think it completely through yet. Uh, so basically what I want to do is wherever that is, I want to put a door. We already kind of know that because the spaces are there. So we want a double door. Is this a three? Yeah, this is a three. So this is a pretty big area. Um, we could do walk-ins, but I prefer to have a door just because, you know, I prefer to have a door. You know what I'm saying? So let's have doors. They can be glass doors, but I prefer to have a door just to give it a little bit of a this is a door type situation as far as a window goes I would like to get the same windows that yeah there we go that match that door which for some reason they don't seem to be matching the door too well they're supposed to but they're not unless the door is a different no the door is the right color I mean, if they were black, they would match. And yo, I might go with black because black might look better. It's making it feel darker though. But I don't know. I want it to feel rich and open. And black might not be, black will definitely do it for the rich part because black is a, like a rich color. But like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the clothing place will have black windows because it'll be like Chanel or something. And the bar will have like brown doors, the barista or whatever they call those places. I don't know if I want to switch up door color or not. That's probably the least of our worries at this particular moment. But, you know, we still worried about it because that's what we do. We worry about things we can't control. That's what humans are all about. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and put these in. Some of them aren't going to line up perfectly, as you can see. I have two options here. One option is just let it ride and leave some of them with blank brick space. That's option number one. Option number, you know what, I like option number one. They don't all have to be glass. They just need enough glass where you can see in them. They still need to have some brick reinforcements. Do I want to, if I even want brick though, is brick the color you want to go with? I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure if brick is the color I want to go with. It's definitely a cool color. But, um, oh, you know what I could do? It's a mall in Vegas, right? It's, it's, I forgot. I think it might be Planet Hollywood. I don't know. But they basically created a fake outdoor situation. Maybe I can make the, these blue walls look awful. <laughs> they look absolutely horrible. Like, I'm not even going to lie. But maybe I can pretend it's outside. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> they just, they don't look good, bro. They don't look good at all. Imaginary sunset? Nah. I mean, kind of. Kind of. And this is a big kind of. You could kind of do it. Nah, don't do it. Do uh do something do the do the tan. See if you do the tan you can get away with the black or the white, to be honest with you. I kinda like the brick. So I'm not gonna trip. But I think we're gonna go with the brick. So this is why I don't do these kind of videos online. Because I go back and forth a thousand times before I even say, okay, that's what I'm going to go with. Now, maybe y'all don't mind that. Maybe y'all got love for me and it's like, hey, that's just Sonny. You know, he just goes back and forth a million times. We still love him, though. 
You know what I'm saying? Because if that's you, then that's what's up all day long. But if that's not you, you might have beef with me and then I might have to snap your sh up for real. And I don't want to have to do that, man, because that's like not cool. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the brick out here just for now, just for now. Inside the barista, just say Starbucks. <laughs> Inside the Starbucks, I want to keep the wall brick. The back wall. I think that adds a little bit of a character to the to the place. It gives it a little bit more of a coffee shop feel. Possibly that wall too. Why don't you just keep the whole thing brick? Maybe I will. The clothing store maybe I'll do different colors. Well, the clothing store don't need to be brick. I think the clothing store, if it is brick, it don't need to be that color brick. Because it's, it's more like... I don't think it should be brick at all. Okay. Well, what color do you think it should be? I think it should be like a, a retail store. Yeah, what color are retail stores, though? That's a good question. Um, it depends on the store. I don't like red. I don't really like colors. Like I said, I don't like colors on the wall, bruh. I just feel like it ruins the vibe. Maybe we'll go with neutral there. The science lab, of course, is going to be white. The garden. Now, maybe we could do something different with the garden. Maybe we can get that room a fake sunset or whatever. Whatever they call it. What do they call it? Imaginary sunset? Maybe that room could get that. See, I feel like brick looks nice there. I don't know. A lot of this is like stuff that we probably shouldn't even be worried about right now because it's not that important. Can you change the color of ceilings on this game? I kind of forgot. Nah. That was Sims 3. You could do that. Or Sims 2. What kills me is why do you take things out the game? I don't. I mean, I know Sims has always done that because they always do that, like that reboot where they sell you the same thing, just newer, I guess. But it's literally the exact same idea, like Seasons. Everybody excited about Seasons, but it's like Seasons has already been out before. It's just on a new game. But I mean, I get it. That's what The Sims has always done. I'm just saying. Some things like being able to paint the ceilings, that's not something you need to hype up. So why not just leave that in the game? Or being able to get inside a car. Like, that's not really something that's, that's hard to, to do. But it's all right, man. We ain't going to trip on The Sims, folks. They just trying to live their life, too, and make money and do their thing. And that's cool. Let them live their life too. All I'm saying is where my sponsorship at because I've been playing this game for four years, five years, and ain't heard a peep from EA. Not even a peep, bro. Where's 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 the peep at? I don't see no peep. Ain't no peep, bit. That's what they said. Ain't no peep. I got a <laughs> uh, dab on the haters always. Um, <laughs> man, how did that become such a a, a mainstream thing? Like, I, I mean, I know how all of YouTubers start doing it, but it's just so stupid now. But that's the life we live in you now, man. I was just talking to somebody about that. Because back in the day, like, it would take a long time for something to hit the mainstream and everybody be doing it. Now, if something's hot, man, you see commercials on it. Like, it's, like, instantly everywhere. I probably should get this lighting situation together. It's probably something I need to think about doing. I 
I mean, the lighting down here wasn't horrible. Because I did have a decent amount of lights. But you can never have too many lights. You know what I'm saying? You could never have too many lights. I kind of messed that all up. Some of these aren't centered at all. And some are, which is going to create kind of a weird situation because some of these rooms I'm going to have to redo and some of them I'm not. I know one thing's for sure. I'm going to have to turn all these lights to, to white. All right. Okay, it's enough lights for down here. I just wanted to get all the lights to the right color and everything, so I probably should have set them all right, but I didn't. And that's something I'm going to have to do later, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just trying to get an idea of the, of the situation we got. I'm going to go ahead and save this, though, because I've been doing this for a little bit too long. Make sure you save your game. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to save this episode, too. i right, make sure you save the episodes, too. Because power go out and all of this is gone. That's the one negative. This program does not have a backup plan. So like I'm doing all this recording. If something happened and my computer cut off, not save at all. And that is not good times. That is definitely not good times. Let's work on the little bar over here. I want to make this really cool looking. Um... That has like paper and stuff on it. I don't like that one as much. I like this one. I want to make this like a little coffee shop. That was just a copyright strike. Don't you just love getting those, Sonny? Man. Actually, every time I get it, I want to strangle somebody. <laughs> I'm just playing. I ain't violent like that. Um, it'd be, it'd be kind of crazy though, if I was, which I'm not, don't worry. I'm not crazy like that. Y'all definitely not crazy. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's cool. That's looking nice. That's looking nice. Do I want to pull it? Nah, do I want to pull it over one? Nah. Why is that behind there? I think that's enough. I mean, you think two is enough, though? I mean, then what you gonna put in the corner? The tree? I mean, the tree doesn't even belong in here. The tree is like, what are you doing? In, what What do you got me in this in this coffee shop for, bro? That's what the tree is saying. But at the same time, the tree doesn't know that the tree is not even in a coffee shop it's in a coffee shop underground so the tree better be happy that it's got a job you understand i don't know how i want to do this yet that's why i'm kind of i want the little arcade thing but i also want to like make a little seating area where people can come in here and like sit down have a cup of coffee you know what i'm saying like a starbucks type situation um Whatever happened with Starbucks? Did they have that day? Did they close the shop? I had that day to talk about profiling folks. I didn't keep up with it. I heard about it, but I didn't. Uh, I don't know what day it was even on. People was upset about it, though. Both sides. How can you going to close the shop? They needed to close the shop. Everybody love arguing nowadays, though. People argue more now than not they I've ever seen. But you know what? Let them argue, bruh. Let them argue. This is a problem I'm having here. I might have to just do a little bit of small adjustments. That's all. 
just so stuff doesn't overlap. Yeah, see, that's cool. That's a cool little vibe, man. That's a, definitely a cool little vibe. These pictures over here are custom content. And I got love for all the custom content folks, but they're a little bit decoded, coded a little bit bad. Uh, so when you zoom out, they get smaller, which I'm not going to trip on it because it's still cool custom content. It's just, it doesn't work perfectly right. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to put these signs on the door. I mean, I, I kind of feel like I should, but then I kind of feel like I shouldn't. Maybe something like that. That's not bad. Yeah, that sign means hot coffee too, by the way. And that one's ice cream which they also sell at this Starbucks or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. You know what I'm saying? It's not really, doesn't really have a name because it's not really, I kind of like this too, this brown. Maybe I'll do this wall in brown. Give it that coffee feel. But still keep the back wall I don't know, I kind of like the back wall brick, maybe that wall brick, and just keep this wall brown, this wall and that wall brown. It gives it a little bit of a, a look, you know what I mean? I do have some custom content that'll probably work well with this though. Because I think I have something that's coffee. I believe. Somewhere in here. Oh, I have that. I think it's another one, though. Man, it ain't on this one. Maybe that is the only one I got. I thought I made something else that has some coffee on it. I don't think I did. But you know what? That goes, too, so... Those are going to be the two pictures on the wall over there. Um, we got the two little custom content pictures for the thing. I'm going to probably, you know, do this a little bit better, tweak it. But we're just trying to get a, a basic look at what's going on. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get a basic look at what's going on. So we're going to have one man, three, two girls, and one girl, two men in the window just like that and then we gonna have since this is a clothing shot shop we gonna have I got different models up here wait a minute I got completely different mannequins we got the one dude mannequin they have so many mannequins now. They got this one, this one, then they got the little kids. Maximum 10 mannequins per lot. You got a number of mannequins limit on mannequins? <laughs> okay, I kind of like the girl mannequin. That actually looks like men and women. But at the same time, I kind of don't. Like I do, but I don't. I think I like the man the mannequins that actually look like people more than the ones that don't. So what did I say on this side? We're gonna have one dude and two girls. And then on this side, we're gonna have one girl and two dudes. And then we're gonna have the little kids. I was gonna do a dude behind it, but that just looked like a gangbang, so <laughs> so I probably won't end up doing that uh, maybe I'll do the little kids though maybe I had the two little kids when you walk in and say maybe they mama or maybe that'll be an alien that'll be the alien one and the two kids and the alien or let's say like the kids the little kind that's the little boy 
Oh, that's the little girl, and then that's the little boy. So you got the okay, yeah, that's cool. Six nine mannequins, man, nine mannequins. That's a good. That's a good amount of mannequins. I think that's plenty of mannequins. Uh, as far as the design of the store goes, that's gonna be the part that's a little bit different to mess with, just because. Oh, that won't let you put that up high, huh? I mean, I like that. I just kind of feel like, oh, they will let you put it up high. You got to put the walls up. Yeah, like that. That's pretty cool. Even though that looks like an open sign. Again, we'll probably end up switching these signs up, making them look different and all of that. This is a coffee shop. So maybe we'll do it like that. Since that's a coffee shop. That makes sense, right? That makes more sense. Isn't this unbelievable with unbelievable that this is all underground? Like this is like a little city underground. And that was the vibe I was trying to create. Having a little city underground. Um, let's see. This is an espresso bar. Which is not what I want at all. I want a counter that I can put a cash register on. Do they have cash registers even if you don't have a store? Yeah. Because I think you can technically have a store without having a cash register. If I'm thinking correctly. Which I believe I am. I believe I'm telling you the truth and I'm not lying to you. Oh, look at that. They got a little clock, too. That might be cool to put in the middle of the... It's kind of going through the ceiling, though. Yeah, there we go. Just size it down a little bit. That might be kind of cool to have up there. A little time, a little clock action. Be real easy to lose track of time when you're in a vault. <laughs> you ain't gonna never know what time it is. Literally. Um, Let me see if I can get a... <laughs> Wasn't even worth me pick getting my phone, bro. Wasn't even worth it. Wasn't even worth it, bruh. Um, it's 430. What was that email? A copyright claim. Oh, yeah. I love those. Those are the best thing ever, man. Fucking love those, man. Nah, but seriously, though, I need to go ahead and finish this up because I really want to get this somewhat done, man. I don't want to sit around all day talking about this retail situation I got. And ain't nobody buying nothing. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Now, I do need a cash register. I definitely need a cash register. Uh, let me grab one of, the, one of these. And one of those, just in case it's a little busy. Can't be that busy, but just in case it's a little busy. I would like to throw a little TV up on the wall, too. I never really saw a purpose to have this TV until today with the brick. It definitely has a good look, a cool look. I just don't want it, but it definitely has a cool look, though. But see, I feel like having a TV like in The Sims 3, this would have been cool because you could just have a TV running. But in The Sims 4, they won't let you just keep the TV running. You got to turn the TV off. They're like all power consuming and, you know, whatever. Like I leave my TV on all the time. It's on right now and I'm not even watching it. I think I'm on Sim Samantha Samantha's video. Damn, this thing is tight. So is your girl, though. Uh, yeah. Man, forget. That thing is way too tight to turn. Okay. And then we need a little light action, man. We need a little light action in here. A little light action on the side. You know what I'm saying? A little whoop whoop. You know what I mean? A little ding 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 ding. You feel me? Just to give it a little bit of something to make it look like a store. I'm trying to be quick with these stores, though, because I really want to see what, the, what they feel like when they're finished. As um, far as these chairs that's in the middle of the, 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 the way here, I think I'm going to just make those black and white. That's for the people to get a little tired when they shop and they just want to sit down and relax. Um, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Sit down and relax. Just don't get taken by the little aliens I got out here. I just thought that was a cool aspect, you know. I might not keep that. 
But I thought it was kind of a cool little thing to do. You know, give it a little bit of fun down here. I kind of like this bigger fence. I was going to use this little thin one. Which one y'all think y'all like better? The thin one or the thick one? I think the thick one makes it look more like it's real grass. Which was definitely not my plan because I don't know if they're going to be able to walk inside of that. But we going to find out today. Because if they can't walk inside of that, then they won't be able to use the chairs, which is going to be a big problem when you're uh, trying to relax. But I'm sure you could step over that. I mean, I could. I'm sure they can. I think an older person would still be able to step over that. So I don't think that would be too much of a problem. Just like you'll be able to get around that clock. Now, if they act like that clock is taking up that whole space, then it's going to be like, come on, bruh. Come on, bro. Don't don't act like that. Don't act like you can't get past that clock. Cause then we gonna have a bigger problem. That my Sims and this vault are just stupid, and I don't want to have that problem. There's no education down here. But you know what? This isn't a public vault, Sonny. Don't forget, this is not a public vault. This is America. This is, <laughs> man. Every time I say this is, I think of that song now. But this is not a public vault, man. This is Sonny Daniel's private family vault. So this is, you get some new people coming in. Of course, when my daughter, my son, they meet some people, they're going to want to bring them down here and they might end up living down here. But it's like a community. And we love each other and we respect each other and we, you know, help each other through the fallout times. That's what this is all about. So I do need to download some guns, though. I thought this was all about love and respect. Nah, I need to download something because it just adds realism to it, man. Like, you know you got to have a strap down here. Like, there ain't no way I'm living in no fallout shelter and I don't have no strap, bro. Like, that's that's a must. Just in case some stuff go down, down here, you need to have your strap with you. And that's just, that's any doomsday prepping, honestly. You got to have some weapon action. But I'm just trying to think, do I want that chair there or not? It's kind of outside the the normal zone that I would want to kind of put that there. But I don't know. I think that looks kind of cool, though. I think that definitely looks cool. I'm loving this, man. Y'all liking this long video? I didn't even think I was going to record this because my back was hurting. But then I got in the chair and it got comfortable. And now I'm sitting in a stupid position again and my back's going to start hurting. Just trying to get this whole little situation together. Do we want to keep the concrete? Is the concrete something you want to keep? Or do you want to go with something that's a little... Ooh, I kind of like the little fancy fancy though. See so something like that. Give it a little bit of a different vibe. Or you just want to keep the solid vibe. Ah, uh, that's a good question. It's a very good question because I kind of like these other vibes because they kind of give it a, see that kind of gives it a outdoor type feel and see if I go with, if I don't end up keeping these walls brick, which I'm really torn if I want to or not. Do they have any walls that are half brick and half not brick? Cause I think I might like those a little bit more. I just feel like this brick is just, I don't know, it's too much. But then at the same time, it's not bad either. I'm just, I don't know. I don't like that wood at all. Maybe if we did like, okay, this is just solid colors, right? Say we did this color, okay? And then we went and got some stone and did some stone like that. Not feeling it. Mm, not really. I mean, it's okay like that. Like, it doesn't look bad like that. I just don't feel like it adds. See, this is really, this is really like getting on my nerves because I'm not deciding which one I want and what I don't want. I think the storefronts need to be brick. Because it makes it feel like a mall and it makes it feel like you're inside of the mall. If the storefronts are brick, 
then that means this whole wall should be brick. Personally, that's what I think. Now, that doesn't have to be the case because I could cut the brick right there. But see, this doesn't have an indentation. That one has an indentation. This one does not. Could I create an indentation? That is something that I have to look at real quick. Because right here, everything is the exact same. The only indentation is coming to make this smaller. Yeah, see, I created that indentation over there. This one didn't need one. So, I mean, technically, if we're being technical, I could create something like that. And that, to me, would be really dumb because there's no purpose to have that there. I mean, it's like literally just a knot in the wall. For what reason? I don't know. But it would be a knot in the wall. But it could be brick and it would add some... I don't know. I kind of like the little stone by the bathroom. I definitely don't like that coming out like that, though. That looks stupid. Um, uh, and far as the color of the wall I'm still I'm still trying to figure that out so we gonna we gonna let that go we gonna let that go I definitely love this though y'all this is looking really nice just imagine like this is underneath a camera store bro like just all of this is underground that's just amazing to me I mean out here is what you see absolutely nothing even up above ground in general. It's a little rusty, dusty looking camera shop. But then you go downstairs and you have a full like community thriving underground. Like that's just there's something about that that just really is amazing to me. I took a little break, y'all. And in that break, I went to got some gum, which I hope y'all don't mind me slightly chewing. And I also got this wall complete which I think is pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool over there. Or y'all might like it. ASMAR, whatever that stuff is called. Shout out to the people that's doing that AMSMR. ASMR, is it ASMR? I don't know. I don't have no idea. They do stuff like this. They do dumb shit, but <laughs> but you know what? It's cool because people like it, and if people like it, do it, bro. Keep doing it. But yeah, I'm liking this down here, y'all. I'm definitely liking this down here. I'm not sure. I feel like it's a lot of brick. It's definitely a lot of brick, um, and I don't know if I want it to be so much brick everywhere. You know what I mean? Definitely on the outside of the building, of course. All of this is brick. Actually, I don't need I don't need to do that like that. I want to take the brick and do it like this cuz see what'll happen is I'll I'll end up doing the inside of those rooms down there. Yeah. We just want it to look like a brick slab, you know what I mean? Pulling up in candy coated slabs. What is all of this? Bruh, I didn't even see this over here. I think that's when I placed that thing. This stuff would be good for the garden, though. They have so much placed out here. It's so nice looking, but it's just like... It doesn't really fit in the... Is this for the wall or something? I'm selling that. Get rid of that. I like this, though. It makes it look like a little... A little garden. I'm definitely feeling the vibe. I just don't really have. I mean, that thing kind of didn't make sense. I don't think any of this stuff is supposed to go on the wall like this. I think they made it look like that, which is really cute. But I don't think it's supposed to go on the wall. So we're going to worry about that another time. Because right now is not the time. Even though it was really cute and I liked it and it was sweet and it was all of that. But ain't nobody got time for that at this moment. So right now, because it's about us girl right now, 
I mean, it's about us, girl, right now. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> this is about us making this look as cozy and comfortable as we possibly can. And I think we're succeeding pretty pretty well at this right now. I think we're making it look a lot better than it did. Um, is it perfect yet? No, of course not. But we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. I'm just putting some paint on these walls so they don't all look so so bland. Even though it might not be what I want to keep, it's at least something. You know what I mean? It's something. And something is better than nothing. Right? Well, I guess it depends on what the something is, don't it? That's a trick question. If something is getting punched in the face, nothing is better than something, right? All right. Uh, what kind of floor you want from the barista for the Starbucks? I think that's actually not a bad floor for Starbucks, to be completely honest with you. Let me get this wall, but in a darker brown. Like ashy, darky brown. Darky. <laughs> darky brown I want the dark brown but not well I guess that works it's not the brown though this is too this that's too much doo-doo brown action but you know what I'm gonna go with that you gonna go with the doo-doo brown yeah I am unfortunately I have no choice bruh you always have a choice sonny yeah, this is true. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of bricks I want and what color bricks I want and all of this. This kind of stuff probably isn't the most entertaining to look at. I'm just looking to see what it looks like, you know? This is more beat up, realistic looking bricks and I just wasn't sure if that's what I wanted to stay with or not. Uh, as far as these windows and stuff, I think maybe we should go black. Because I think the black matches better than the white does. The white just doesn't. I made it a little bit more homey down here. I still can't believe this is all underground. Like, this is going to be a whole new thing for my channel. I've never created a house. And my goal with this series that I'm creating is I want this family to live underground. And I mean, my characters may not ever live above ground again. The same, like, how they were. My grandkids might. My kids possibly might. But it won't be the same. Hello? Yeah, I was wondering, because I, you know, I wanted to grab something if she was. You want to go by yourself? It's a clean background I got. On that iPhone 7 still. You know, it's crazy. I... Man, I remember seeing a comment. Somebody called me stupid for buying that iPhone 7. And I was like, man, don't be hating, man. I, ain't, I got money. I'm buying an iPhone 7. I shouldn't have bought an iPhone 7. I should have kept my iPhone 6 and kept it jailbroken and went on about my merry little life. Because that phone is just like the iPhone 6. But it was the shiny black color. And I wanted the shiny black color. Yay. But now I could give a less about the shiny black color. And I just want a iPhone 7, I mean, an iPhone X Plus. I want that big joint. Man, I saw a, a phone on Unbox Therapy the other day. I might throw a clip in. I might just throw a screenshot in. And that joint was fully be bezel-less. Like, I mean, not fully, but it didn't have any knots or nothing, man. It was like, I kind of want that phone. Android, of course, but you know. Apple need to get it together, bro. Like, I love Apple. And they phones, I've been rocking with them since 2007, since they first came out with a phone. I had the first iPhone, cost me $600 cash. I was like 15 in high school. I was the only one that had that phone. And, uh, you know, I was out here. I was, you know, I was doing my thing. But my whole point is... Uh, I forgot my point. I forgot everything I was going. Oh, it's it's old, bro. It's the same thing. Like I just I don't know. Apple takes forever to update their stuff and make it like futuristic. It seems. It seemed to take a long time to do stuff like that. As far as this custom content I'm looking at here, I picked the wrong one. I picked the one that's got all the grills on it. Whoops. I really want a bulletin board, 
They got a bulletin board. A bulling. Yeah, family bulletin board. Where is that at? Y'all probably got a kick out of the way I was saying that. Bullington board. Bullington. I couldn't spell. This ain't no bulletin board. Well, I mean, I guess it is, but. I want something that looks like a bulletin board. Board. Board walk. Board meeting. Hobby board. What's a hobby board? I want something like the hobby board because you see the hobby board it's like fun and cool like stuff that's happening in the vault that's what I want this wall to be considered this is like where everybody goes to see the latest new events going on in the vault I'm glad that they're all different but they're like the same glad they did that that makes stuff a lot easier for me personally so like, yeah, you come over here and you see, you know, the events going on. It probably shouldn't be that unorganized, should it? Probably not, Sonny. Probably not. You probably should make this look a little bit neater. I mean, you are so-called a neat freak. Bruh, I am a neat freak. Extreme neat freak. Man, my camera just died. This looks nothing like a family bulletin board to me. I'm just saying, it just doesn't. It doesn't give it the vibe I'm looking for. It's not doing what I want it to do. Maybe what I'm looking for is something different, though. Maybe I'm looking for something more like this. Except this. Does that say Wi-Fi? I think that does say Wi-Fi. This wouldn't probably be on the wall, though. I mean, right? And let's nah, see, it's not on the back. I mean, I guess you could put this on the wall in here. I mean, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I have it on the wall in there. But I think what I'm looking for is that food thing. I think that's what I'm looking for. That food thing. That food thing? These are kind of cool. For a little bit different of a look. I mean, I don't know. They don't really fit Starbucks. But who's to say we got to have Starbucks? This is kind of cool, too. What is that? I don't know, but I like it. It makes it look like a little downtown area. I really like that. Uh, I probably will put some of these up because these are all... What is this under? Decorations? Wall decor? What I'm looking for, though, is extremely, is this. This is what I'm looking for. Cork board. That's what I'm looking for, bruh. Not this garbage. I'm looking for a cork board. But what, I, it was another one, though, that had, like, family recipes and stuff on it. I forgot which one it was. What's this? Open book? an open book framed we could pretend like this is all the people that lived in the vault or something like a special kind of thing that's what we could pretend this is if I could find a place for it uh, so people can pay homage to the people that lived here before them I don't know <laughs> just coming up with ideas you know what I'm saying I don't know truly I don't know um, maybe we'll check make that the clothing place and then we'll do this as open as far as that goes I don't know just trying to figure stuff out bro you know this is pretty nice looking you know doesn't really make sense to go anywhere but it's kind of nice looking though maybe that'll be the restaurant name adds a little realism to it these are all very cute little things you're doing here, Sonny, and I get it, like, you know, but we really need to find out <laughs> what we want to do. That's kind of a good logo for the gym. It looks like a lifting logo, like you got to lift something up. I'm looking for, it just kind of looks like a restaurant, but we're going to pretend that that's the spa. 
I'm tossing this open sign around a lot, ain't I? It's because I really don't need the open sign, but, you know, I keep finding stuff that's better. This is an x-ray machine? That would be cool for in there. Um, Plaque of Honor. See, like, stuff like this would be cool to add into the vault, just to add it like, this is the Plaque of Honor. You know, those are the people that served in the vault for such and such amount of years, and they, um, see, like, this fits this better than this open sign. That open sign just doesn't look right to me. It just looks like an open sign. What is this? That's a tea kettle or something? Uh, this is something too. I don't know. Those don't look really look that great to me. What is this? Great wall of bubbles? Bro, this has not been in the game since dying out. And I've just now seen it. There's no way. I've never seen this before. Great Wall of Bubbles? Y'all know if I would have seen this before, it would have been in my house. So don't even act like this has been in the game for all these years, all this time. Don't even pretend like it has, because it hasn't. I don't care what you say. There's no way that's been in this game this long. There's no flipping way. Because it's for little kids over here. You can't be cussing. There's no flipping way, man. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I just decided to try it out because I have never seen that before. Uh, this is like a little decor, a little art on the wall. That would be kind of cool maybe for there. Ooh, I like the way this looks. Come on, Sonny. We supposed to be doing designing. And you in here acting like you ain't that. Ooh, I kind of like that. Maybe this for the store instead, huh? Get your get your clothes in there. I like that little sign. I just, I don't know if I want to keep it up there or not. This would look cool underneath that coffee cup. Don't you think? Yeah, that would look dope. I like that. Um, What's a book? No, that's way too extra. That's too extra. Some of them are just too extra. See, like this. This is what I'm looking for. Like that. Show me what's going on in the vault. So it's like a bulletin board. Somebody lost a shoe. Somebody lost their grandma. <laughs> Some, you know what I'm saying? Something that gives it a little bit of like community, a sense of community down here. Even though that might be, yeah, that's too high up. I'm tripping. It, you kind of get in a weird space because you don't realize that what you're doing, you're so far up off the ground. That was a great sentence, wasn't it? I didn't say much of nothing. This is what I was looking for. This is the food menu, though. But this is the kind of vibe I was looking for. See, this needs to go back here. Like that. Which, I don't know where that leaves these pictures that I have on the wall over here. Maybe they go in the trash. I don't know. I like them, though. So I don't want to throw them away. They just... Maybe I'll do them someone like that or something. They're just in the way now. And then we got this, the ice cream thing. Which, honestly, I don't need the ice cream thing. I don't need that. And the fire. I mean, do you need the fire? Is any of these businesses would consider fire a good thing? Probably not. So we're going to get rid of the fire, too. That just really made that look a lot cooler. I'm probably not going to finish this this episode, even though this is like a, f was this three hours I've been doing this? It's definitely a long episode, man. I kind of like this, but I like the coffee better. I think the coffee logo looks cooler. Just a little chart. We could put that in our science lab. That's going to be like the slash doctor's office. It's going to be a science lab slash doctor's office type situation medical all of that you know what i mean that's gonna be your medical bay type situation 
it could be advertised a little bit, but you know, you got to knock and have a uh, vault pass to get inside of there. Because we can't just let anybody in. Because that's just, it's not allowed, man, you know? It's just not allowed. What do you think about that? Um, I mean, that's like a garden. So does it make sense to even have like a name on the garden like that? I mean, typically I'd say no, but it kind of looks cool. So I kind of want to keep it. We're going to keep it, but if something else comes up that looks better, we'll definitely go with that. That's the TV that motivated me to make my own custom content. That little fake TV. Huh. This one might look... Eh, I don't like the backlight on that. Just checking all these out, making sure I don't like nothing any better than the ones I already have. You know what I mean? I like this little circle logo. But it's not necessary to have that if you already have the other kind. What is this, a bar? Yeah, we don't really need that. A lot of these little signs are cool, though. I like them. This would probably go nicely with that logo. You know, something like that. Now I'm looking at it. This gym logo is kind of small. The logos don't have to be big, you know? They don't need to be big. It's just you need to be seen, too. Don't forget about seeing each other, seeing them. That's food. I already got the food logo I like. I kind of like this look. This could be like a welcome sign. You know, like I could put it like there. It could be like welcome to the vault type situation. Man, look at this, bruh. I got to take a picture and I got to save it because I spent a lot of time on this. I have never spent this much time. Actually, I've never even built a basement that was legit in this game. But to build a vault that looks like this, it just it just makes me feel good inside. You know, it just makes me feel good about myself and anything that makes you feel good about yourself. You should keep doing it. As long as it ain't hurting nobody else in the process. Yeah, I like that, man. Welcome to the vault type situation. Mm-hmm. I'm digging that. Anything else you think you want to put in here? Uh, as of right now, I don't think it is. What is this? Signs with a purpose. Oh, we don't need to have people down here protesting. That's what happened in the... What, didn't that happen in Fallout uh, 3? Was that 3? One of them... I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I feel like one of them, they was like protesting and it made... It was like the downfall of the vault because everybody was tripping. I think that might have been Fallout 3. But I don't know. I have no idea. But we definitely ain't trying to have that down here right now. We just starting out and plus we're a family. We're all family, so... We don't really need the drama. I think the saxophone thing is a little much. Do you even remember what I was originally looking for? Because I got on this whole thing with this uh, wall decor and completely forgot what I was looking for. Was it just a bulletin board? I think it was. I hope it was. Because if it wasn't, I've completely lost track of what it was. But look at it down here, bro. It's so like different than what I usually make. But I love it because it's different. And this this series needs different stuff in it, you know? Definitely needs different stuff in it. I kind of want to do a uh, decorations little pot. The little vase or whatever. Yeah, that. That's exactly what I was talking about. But the bigger ones. Aren't there bigger ones? I thought there were bigger ones, though. 
Well, this is one size. Okay, those are bigger. So you got this size and then you got this size. So these are the bigger ones. Why well, I, I like these. These are the square ones is cool. So let's go with the square ones. I like the square ones. They ain't bad. I actually could probably make them bigger though. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I definitely could. That makes it a little bit more realistic to the size of that tree. Cause that tree is huge. Can't have no little tiny pot that had a tree in. As far as the game machine, the color of the game machine, um, personally, I don't think it matters the colors of the machine. Some of the screen are on. I like when the screen is on, so we just gonna leave it like that. It'd be cool if the screen actually moved. The clothing shop definitely needs work. All of these little rooms need work. Is there anything you think that would be better than having a Zen place? Because I feel like I could kind of combine that in the gym. But I can't think of nothing that you'd want to have unless you want to have a full-on restaurant. Which you could have, but not really because it's too small to have a full restaurant. So you just have like a little coffee shop. You got a coffee shop, a clothing shop, a gardening shop, which is technically like a greenhouse. And then you got a massage parlor and a gym. What other stores would you want to have in a vault? I'm trying to think. Because like the coffee shop isn't just a coffee shop. I feel like it's more like... It is a coffee shop, but it's also like a shop where you can come read Justin Bieber magazines. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something like that. Like, I mean, it's it's all of that, though. Those really make that look bad, so I'm taking that out. But, um, yeah, the coffee shop is kind of like where you eat at. But then at the same time, it probably would be better if I actually had a full restaurant. But I just don't see where that's really going to benefit me and... Um, that many ways but i don't know because this is a grill ain't it ain't this a grill so they could take oh that's an espresso machine i guess you can't get food in here i mean you you technically could in my mind you could but maybe we do need a place where you could actually eat at i know they have food carts in here well i don't know if they do or not food I mean, they did in the other one. Food and bars? No, nah, they had like the little Uptown thing. It was from Uptown. Uptown food stall. Yeah. This. I don't know where this was, but yeah, here. Well, basically, you got food. I don't know. I'm going to just put one of these in here. We already had the massage chairs outside. Of course, it makes sense to have that, though. I mean, like, you know, people get stressed out and they want to have a massage. But they got cupcakes. If I would have saw this originally, I would have made this a lot differently. But I didn't see it originally. I saw it way later, and I had already built this the way it is. Because if I would have saw this, I would have just built, like, little pods inside of here, like, differently. But looking at it the way I'm looking at it now, hypothetically... You got like Chinese food or whatever. Like, I don't know. I technically don't know what that would look like, personally. I mean, uptown food stall, Japanese food stall, cupcakes, and what is this? Gourmet food? So we got gourmet and Japanese food, but we don't have like hot dogs and stuff. Which we need to stay away from that anyway. I don't want no hot dogs down in my vault. And hamburgers and fries and all of that. It's too it's bad food. Unless they're cooking it good, which is kind of impossible. So we're going to go ahead and just do the gourmet and the Japanese food over here. Which I kind of feel like looks weird because they're inside of a place. And they don't look like they need to be inside of a place. And is that where you pay? Because if that's where you pay... This is really not going to work. These kind of need to be checked out. Like, I don't know how these work. So let's go in live mode real quick. Because I really don't know how these work. Hire a vendor. 
But see, how you gonna hire a vendor if you underground? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that fully makes sense. I'm thinking about making that wall that color. I really like this color better though. I just think it looks better to me. I mean, I wish it was a little darker, but like, I don't know, it just feels better. These pictures jumping in and out like that drive me nuts. And that, and I think this is the angle I'm probably, well, I might play from this angle. I'm probably gonna be spinning it all over the place. But these pictures jumping in and out, bruh, they driving me nuts and I don't like them doing that. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Keep Pikachu. I like Pikachu, man. I don't wanna get rid of Pikachu. I think Pikachu added a cool little aspect to it. It was cute, it was fun, but it just keeps going up and down, up and down, which is annoying. But it's all right. Get, we're gonna leave it. Um, we got the gym over there. We're gonna do all of that stuff off camera. I'm just trying to see anything we could do on camera that would be fun for us to do before I pause this episode. Because I definitely need to pause this episode because we're probably approaching two hours. But I know y'all like these long episodes, man. That's the thing. I know y'all like the long episodes. I like doing them because it's not so drawn out. The problem though is like this would technically be a two, four, six, and two, four, six, three. This could have been like seven videos. So that's seven days I could have uploaded every single day of this that I'm doing in one huge part, which contemplating if that's worth it or not, I'm not sure. I like uploading a lot of videos, but then again, they kind of get old like after seven days of the same house. And so I just do it all in one and we're going to see how, how it's rocking. Because I'm not tripping if it's every single day. Like I might miss a couple of days or a day or two, which would have technically been the one long video or three days, four days in between. If you got a two and a half hour video to watch like this one. So I'm not tripping on that as much. Right back, whatever back, 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 back. All right. So look at this, man. Look at this. So what we got, we got the gym. We got the food court that we still got to try to figure out. We got the garden center, which I'm kind of confused about in general. It doesn't even need to be a storefront. It needs to be a greenhouse. But I figure why not leave the greenhouse open for the public so everybody can go check out the greenhouse. But that might be a stupid idea. Who knows? And then downstairs. Let's go back downstairs. We ain't seen downstairs in a minute. Downstairs is feeling pretty good. I'm liking this. I haven't seen this in a minute. Just seeing it just now made me feel cozy. You know what I'm saying? Made it feel like it was a tornado or something. You had to go downstairs watching TV. So I like that. I like that a lot. The only weird thing about this is if technically this was a fallout situation, there wouldn't be any TV. So you'd have to watch um, movies, a lot of movies, uh, which, you know, you see this long ass TV stand. You could probably have about 500 movies in there. That's a lot of movies. What is 500 times three? It's 1,500 uh, 500 times. That's 1,500 hours. Alexa, what's 1,500 divided by 24? 1,500 divided by 24 equals 62.5. That's only 62 days? Huh. I thought that would be more. So if you had 500 movies in there... That really wouldn't be that long. That wouldn't even be that many movies. I mean, that's 62 days of straight different movies, though. After 62 days, you could, to say two months, after two months, you could refresh and start playing other stuff over again. I don't know. That's kind of crazy, though. So how many movies, like, say if you wanted to have a different movie every day for two years, you would need... Hold up, give me a second. Alexa, what's 24 times 365? 24 multiplied by 365 equals 8,760. 8,760. Yeah, for two years, you need about 8,800 movies. Right? Yeah, because 8,800 movies is 24 hours. Now, if you play a different movie every 
back to back to back to back. You need 18,000 hours of movies. Movies are probably about two hours each. Average. Divide 1,800 by two. 9,000 movies. Back to back to back. You need 9,000 movies to last you two years, something different, which is completely absurd. And ain't nobody going to do that. But still, you know, it's possible. We can pretend that like over in this abyss that that's a hard drive. Or, you know what, we could just pretend there's hard drives in here. There's, because we're, 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 I mean, we're, we're prepping for doomsday here. We have, let's see, a terabyte, five. The biggest hard drive I think they sell right now is a four terabyte, but we're going to pretend that they sell a five terabyte solid state drive, okay? Which they probably do, but not solid state. Um, five solid state drives, which you know is like smaller than a phone. You know how many phones you could fit in that cabinet? So just pretend there's five terabytes in each one of those. A movie is like a couple gigabytes, say 10 gigabytes, 10 gigabytes go... Alexa, how many times does 10 gigabytes go into one terabyte? Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh, B, I'm speaking a different language to you now. But you know there's 2,000 gigabytes in a terabyte. Uh, I mean, there's 1,000 gigabytes in a terabyte. So if you got 10, I'm, not, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not even doing this no more. I'm, this is not math class. This is not math class. This isn't even science. This isn't even school. This is The Sims, man. Play the game. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. I'm about to pause this episode in a minute, though. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do next. I like the whole situation I got going up, down, going down, down around here. <laughs> oh, country talking, muff. Got this, got them down, 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 down here. I do like the situation I got going down right here is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I could put the door here and put a door there. I probably wouldn't like the fact that that door is facing that door though, which is why I had a hallway because I could put a door there and a door there, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing like a door there, door here type situation. Um, but I mean, who knows, who knows how I'm going to do it and what I'm going to do with it. But I probably will put double doors. I probably put double doors on all of these because I mean, why not have a double door? You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a it's a big crib. We could have double doors. I just don't know if I want to do that or not yet. But we're gonna see. Cause see, technically, I could put a double door right there. Kind of messes up this whole picture situation I got going, but right now, but it's all right because we ain't tripping on all of that. Just hypothetically saying, does that look cool having a double door like that, or you think it would look better having a small door like this for a bedroom? Why don't you have a small double door? I think the shorter door definitely looks better in this situation. Whether it's um, double or single, I think a double door definitely doesn't look as... And it needs to be private and somewhat secure. Blue? I don't like blue doors. Brown? The brown kind of has a little rich look to it. I kind of like the brown. I kind of like this door too. I mean, I never really put this much effort into what doors I'm going to be using. But like I said, this is a fallout shelter, bruh. We ain't going nowhere. This is our crib for a long time. For some of my Sims, forever. You're not getting any more doors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what you are going to have for your life. So... <laughs> You know, that's crazy when you think about it. If I'm building this, realistically, I'm not going to be able to just go get another new door. Like, there are no door places. This is all happening before the bombs go off, technically. Even though I said they kind of already did, but they didn't quite yet. Everybody's just getting prepared. So they're getting in the bunkers. 
I like this door. I don't like that it has nicks and cracks in it, though. It makes it look cheap and jacked up. Where this one doesn't, and it makes it look a little bit nicer. So I, I kind of like this one a little bit better. It makes it look uh, a little bit richer, a little bit nicer. But I don't know. I'm still not quite sure which doors I'm going with. I kind of like the red. You know, we could always paint the door. But realistically, we can't we can't get new doors, even though I know I'm probably not going to stick to that. And I'm definitely going to end up changing this house around. But because that's just what I do. But still, realistically, what we have down here is what we have. But you could always trade with people, too. So, you know, you can't trip too much on that because you could always trade with people and do s stuff of that sort. Since that's a door there, maybe we'll put a door here since that's like that we'll probably put a door here uh you know we we don't want to space them out too much but we got to space them out a little bit we don't want them to be like on top of each other i don't know as of right now though i'm liking this whole situation i got going it's definitely a place i could live for my life that sounds kind of crazy, but when you're building a fallout shelter, you got to build it to the fact like this might be the last place I live is in this fallout shelter because the world might not be anymore the way it used to be. Mm -mm, no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? That might just be the case. I ain't beat that case. I did the race. You feel what I'm saying? That might just be the case. It don't matter if you beat the case or not. It might just be the case. I mean, it's a foosball table. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I didn't even ask you, Sonny. Why are you even talking to me? I don't know. I'm just talking. I don't know. It's a foosball table. It's a fish tank. What do you want me to say? I mean, I don't really need another fish tank there because I already have a fish tank there. I'm just, I'm just putting stuff in. Part of the process is just throwing stuff in, seeing what would happen if you did such and such or what happened if you did such and such. That's part of the design aspect of the game. We definitely need video games, bro. Video game, bro. Video, video, video games all day, every day. We need a bunch of systems because whatever video games we have now are going to be the only games we have in the future. Which is crazy. Isn't that crazy to like think about stuff like that? Like that is it. Whatever you have now in a fallout shelter, that's all you will have. Nothing new's coming out. And the world is in turmoil. What is this? Motion sensor game mat. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of cool. I kind of want it, but I don't even know where to put it. Maybe in the gym. Um, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, you know, a little something, a little something. The hookah. You gonna hit the hookah in there? I mean, we could have a hookah bar in here. I mean, who knows, bro? Who knows? This is a who knows situation. I mean, is it kind of dumb there? But think about it. This is your house forever. <laughs> this is it. There is no more penthouse do we have everything we want what's this oh that's a charging station huh my robot is living here with me isn't she i kind of forgot about that let's throw that in that little modern room i threw over in the corner uh yeah i don't know if i want to do that with the fish tanks and all of that i mean i already have fish tanks right here so i kind of don't need uh another fish tank These kind of look nice, though. You see, the problem with these fish tanks is they don't go together. That's the problem. And the problem with these fish tanks is I didn't make a brown color. <laughs> well, why don't you use the original? That's a good idea. It's a very good idea. I didn't even think of that. Use the original. Cause then I could have brown. I don't know if I like that brown though. I don't know. I 
I kind of do though, honestly. I mean, the black isn't even that bad either on the on the normal one. I'm just saying, I might go with. The, well, what's the difference between mine? Oh, mine is really black. Mine is like. Mine is like um. Solid. Theirs is more wood grainy. But it's okay. We ain't gonna trip on all the little logistics at this part at this uh this time. What we are gonna do though is we're gonna change this kitchen color. I'm just gonna turn it brown for the time being. Uh and we're gonna make this brown. But I'm about to pause this episode, y'all, because I'm just doing little basic stuff. So thanks for watching. Thanks for showing love. Make sure you post in the comments, man. Like the video. Show me some love. Let me know that y'all like these kind of videos. And I'll see y'all. Maybe it'll be some more stuff done tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day. Love y'all. Peace. Hey, what's going on, Sunny? It's Heart, and I watch your video. I'm a huge fan of your Sim stuff, but your gaming in general. And I got the Hodge twins here with yeah, me. Yeah. But Sunny, hey, Sunny team, man. the YouTube community loves you. Okay, all right. So man, okay. go check out Sunny D. Man, <laughs> that's like the great Sunny D. <laughs> <laughs> hey.